family seem to have fallen out of love with the estate car, instead choosing in their masses to opt for one of the many SUVs now dominating the new car marketplace. The thing is, however low on fashion the humble estate may be right now, it is still super high on function, offering a remit that is broad enough to cover nearly every motor and eventuality. That's why we decided to run the Skoda Octavia Estate, a mid-sized family car that majors on practicality, but also keeps its prices firmly rooted in the real world. The team has racked up more than 6,000 miles in this wagon. It's been driven to the Italian Alps, performed the school run, supported a house move, a bicycle race, been our unofficial camera car and taken a big knock on the chin. Time to look back and let you know exactly what we think of it. The best thing about the Skoda Octavia estate is the price, which starts at just over £18,000. Now, if you were to compare this car with a Volkswagen Golf estate, for example, that's the parent company of Skoda and a model that shares the basic engine and architecture as this one, you'd note that the Skoda actually undercuts the Golf significantly on price, has a much more generous level of specification and has space in here to rival a category above, never mind the Golf. It is quite literally a lot of car for the money. Space is the key criteria for estate cars, and on that front, the Octavia estate is in a league of its own. Not only is passenger space roomy enough for four adults to travel to Italy and back without fighting, the boot space is huge. 610 litres may sound meaningless, but in reality, it's been more than enough to swallow all my worldly possessions when moving flats, transport all of our latest camera gear, as well as carry all the kit for my really cool lifestyle orientated hobbies. Plus, it offers more space than any of these rivals. I'm a bit of a sucker for detail, so I really like how a car with such humble origins can really surprise you with so many practical highlights. Things like this handy clip for a parking ticket, this built-in ice scraper behind the fuel filler cap, or the way this compartment clicks. All these curry hooks to stop you shopping from rolling around or this lever to tumble the seats, or the 12 volt connector, or this weird plastic thing to store your phone. You get the picture. Knowing how much effort and ingenuity has been poured into maximizing the space inside this car, it's really surprising to find comparatively little effort has been made on the exterior styling because this thing looks Even the facelifted 2017 version looks and I know this is a function over form kind of car, but this is about as inviting as going to your local Dignitas clinic. Surely you need to feel something from your new car without having to spend big money on the latest top of the range VRS model. It's amazing to think here we are in 2016 and Skoda still has an image problem with some car buyers who consider this archaic viewpoint based on some really bad jokes that have long been banished thanks to some truly fantastic products. Now I'm no fanboy, but I think I'm in a pretty qualified position to say that they're bad snobs and that they're wrong. But I'm also a little bit sad that they're denying themselves some pretty brilliant cars in the process. For the estate car, ride comfort should be more important than outright handling. And while bigger estate cars like this Mercedes E-Class can benefit from wafty air suspension, the Octavia gets traditional springs and dampers, which at low speeds feels jiggly and noisy. A slightly softer setup next time, please, Skoda. Probably the most interesting thing I've learned is that in the greatest possible sense, Skoda works for people who aren't that interested in cars. The model range is clearly defined between big ones or bigger ones, and the trim levels are easy to understand. So once you've done all your research online, obviously, you can come to one of these showrooms, drink tea and talk to somebody like Wayne who'll talk you through your choices, explain anything you don't understand, and even build your future car on a giant configurator. It's easy, which is how buying a car should be, right? Taking into account our experiences with the Octavia Estate and with what the team here at Marshall Croydon have said, here's a quick run through our recommended specification, not only to ensure your family's welfare, but to help maintain the best possible value can resale. And we'll start with the stuff that we learnt the hard way, like this moon white metallic. 
Granted, white may be one of the most popular colours in Britain, but when it's applied to the Octavia estate, you end up being hollowed out like you're a minicab. This happened to me on more than one occasion, so if you don't want to spend your weekends as a taxi driver, then go for either the race blue or the quartz grey metallics, which look much better. Similarly, we'd also probably give these optional 18-inch alloys a miss, as they tended to hurt the ride a little bit. If you can stick with 17-inch wheels, you'll get a little bit more cushioning thanks to those thicker sidewalls. This 2-litre diesel engine has performed dutifully, but given the type of driving we've been doing, it's been surplus to requirements, really. If you do need a diesel unit to go up and down the motorways or carry a car full of kids, then go with the manual 1.6 TDI. Although if you're sticking around town and simply performing the school run, we've been equally impressed by the 1.4 TSI petrol. This SEL trim may sit at the top end of the line, but it is easily the most popular because it's absolutely loaded with standard equipment, including navigation, DAB radio, Alcantara seats, rear parking sensors, and the variable boot floor. However, we'd also add on the panoramic glass roof, privacy glass, plus the xenon and LED headlamps to up the aesthetic ante, as well as going for a space saver spare tire and front parking sensors to give you a bit more reassurance. Tick all those boxes and you will have the dream Skoda Octavia estate. SUVs may be having their moment in the sun, but cars like the Skoda Octavia Estate will endure because, quite simply, they make great family cars. It's spacious, practical, great value for money, safe, and in the six months we've been owning this car, it's been nothing but as tough as old boots. Truth be told, I personally haven't bonded with the car quite as much as I respect its core competencies, but I think that's more to do with my life stage than it is to do with any failings on the car. For what the Octavia has been designed to do, it does it brilliantly and it's pretty hard to fault.